Hey guys, welcome back. I had a look on the Black Friday deals and I found one thing that caught my eye, which is my suitcase. I love this thing for carrying heavy gear because it rolls on four wheels, which means when you have this thing loaded up with 20 or 40 kilograms of stuff, then you don't have to be lifting half the weight as you're dragging it, which, you know, it can roll on two wheels if you want, but you can also push it, which is just so much easier and it also makes a great seat, or well, a good enough seat for when you're at train stations or whatever, you know, while you're waiting, airports and whatever. This one is a bit thinner than my previous one, which I reviewed, and I actually did the swap. I sold that one to a friend, and I bought this one for a bit more money because it's lighter weight and larger than the previous one. This thing is huge, and I'll show you guys what I've got inside here in, the, in a second. But because of that, this isn't as rigid. So if you sit on this, I don't think it'll break. I mean, obviously it depends on how heavy you are, but uh, it will sort of squish down a bit. So it might squish what's inside a bit. So when it's, uh, when it's flat like this, you probably don't wanna, you can see there that squishes. And that's just because they've made it lighter weight, but it's still very, very strong. I've had this for quite a few years now and it's uh, been taken on many jobs, both locally and a few things internationally as well. And what I love about this is that it's much more rigid than the cheaper ones. It isn't closed with a zip, it's closed with three latches, which is really nice. These do lock, but uh, this is a TSA lock. So someone with the right key can open it, like a you know, TSA agent or something. But uh, yeah, it's got a combination lock on this one, which is nice, and then a sort of kind of a lock. So you see there, that doesn't open now and you have to press that up on this side. So that's good. And it's been really, really solid. I don't think there's anything here that's likely to break. This thing goes up really high. You can lower it down to various different levels and it locks in, what's that, like six different places. So that's pretty good. This thing is really tough. We'll take a beating which obviously you need that if you're taking us through the airport. So let's take a look inside. So in here, this isn't necessarily the stuff I'd take on a shoot with me, but just to show you guys what this thing looks like when it's uh, fairly full up. So I've got two specular lighting kits. These are actually empty right now because I'm using my uh, specular light to film this. Pixapro gimbal. Big ass tripod, the Manfrotto 535. This thing is huge. And you could easily fit this in here with a padded carry bag, but I couldn't be bothered. I just took this out of the cupboard and put it in there as it was. And then obviously you'd want that with a fluid head. This is my Varavon. And then a little non-padded case with, you know, random little things, whatever you need, plugs and whatever. And then a big slider, my eye footage. And then a low pro padded insert. And in theory, you could DIY this and add some separators or something like that. But I found that that wasn't necessary. I just keep stuff in its padded case and nothing is ever broken in here. So for me, that's good enough. But if you keep fragile stuff in here with the heavy stuff, then you'll want to put them in something like a Pelican case or something really protective, not just a camera bag. Personally, I don't normally keep my lenses and cameras in here. I just prefer them on my back and they're not that heavy. So just the heavy stuff goes in here. And then uh, I would have you know, a couple of light stands and whatever else I need. So this thing has been fantastic. Size-wise from corner to corner, it's about 88 centimeters or about 34 and a half inch. And from uh, top to bottom, it is about uh, 77 centimeters or about uh, 30 and a quarter inch. The width is about 52 centimeters or about 20 and a half inch. Height is about 32 centimeters or about one foot and a half inch. The weight of this, about five and a half kilograms, which I think is pretty damn good for a huge hard rolling case. Now this Samsonite will easily hold most lighting diffusers, but it just won't fit the Pixapro 150 centimeter Octodome. It's just too huge. So for that, I would say just fold it down, fold really easily and put it into its little carry bag and just strap it to your backpack where a tripod would normally go. I think even Pixapro don't have a case, like a rolling case big enough to hold that. I could be mistaken. 
but uh, yeah, it's, it's huge. It's about a hundred centimeter when it's folded. So this thing's about 60 pounds off on Amazon UK right now, which is fantastic. I paid full price for this and I've been super happy with it. I didn't find this on Amazon US for some reason. Samsonite do have different models over there. So if you need something like this, then I guess uh, I'll link down below anyways. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.